Hey guys, it's Brett. Literally, as soon as I hit record on this video, the HVAC came on. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going, see what happens. Uh, we have the Titan uh, competition flat bench single post with a thick pad, uh, just like the Rep. Well, it's comparable to the Rep. This is Expert XPRT that I got, which was a Rep clone, and I honestly have loved this bench. Um, I bought five of the Titan versions for the gym. We're also gonna get adjust, uh, the Titan um, adjustable bench, but we wanted to, I, I really like the single post flat bench uh, from Rep for, like I said, this is Expert, this one. I have a video of putting that together. And so we are going to unbox this one and see how it compares. This is the pad here. Let's, uh, yeah, we can go ahead and open that. I've got a dull knife around here somewhere that we use for like the garage. This is like a hard particle board. Alright. How are we gonna put this? Looks like probably from the end is the best way. Make sure we don't damage it. Packaging is really nice. Um, UPS did not follow instructions on which way it was supposed to be facing up. But let's, uh, let's lay this on here and see what how it compares so far. Um, it's bigger. So it is wider and longer. I want to say it's about two inches wider than the uh, expert bench that I have. And probably two inches longer as well. I mean, that's pretty cool right off the bat. And then let's see what comes in the package. I don't think we're gonna be surprised. We're gonna have the foot posts, which here's the the top, and it's got nice wheels and um, a stand for when you stand it up. So the one that I have, and I don't know if Rep has this, but it's got wheels for wheeling. And then when you stand it all the way up, it comes off the wheels and it rests on that. The one I have doesn't do that. You just kind of stand it up on the wheels and this thing. Let's see what else we have in here. It's got the Titan T laser cut in there. So here's the front piece with the handle. Oh, the handle is knurled. That's pretty cool. It feels very heavy duty. And this uh, front foot pad is actually bigger than um, the one I have, the one I'm sitting on. And it actually feels heavy dutier. I was, uh, the one I have has like a circular thing, which you can see down here, and it's smooth. This is like a mat, like all of their other stuff, and the handle's knurled. That's really cool. So we got that piece. Uh, here's some hardware. Uh, 
and then here's the main frame. The main frame. I like it. That's the, the main backbone that the bench goes on. And I wonder, this cardboard doesn't have holes in it, but I wonder if that was just a separator or, yeah, it doesn't go on there. I think this was just a separator to protect stuff. I'll, I'll look it up because it's not the exact same size, but it is the size of the box. So let's get all this laid out real quick. I think this bench regularly sells for like 265, 225, 250. Let's call it 250 just to be safe. Um, but I, I snagged it on sale for like 180. And got five of them so yeah super happy and it's not even together yet um, bench pad main brace front connector to the back base and you can see that it's just nuts and bolts and I have instructions here. Oh yeah, so this is actually a base that sits on too. So when it's rocked forward on this, it also has this on the ground. That looks like it might be missing a, a bolt from that. I don't know. Don't feel one inside. Anyways, yeah, so this is just uh, packaging. Hmm. And what do we always do first when we start any new project like this? We take the instructions. throw them away. But first, what is this? It's like a black card that was in the box. Ooh, black on black Titan logo. Yeah, so this is the, this is how you activate the warranty. QR code that. Uh, oh, we also got some stickers. That's cool. I love stickers. Unleash your Titan, Titan Fitness. Should start including my uh, Clarksville Barbell Club stickers in the gear people order. Actually, you know what? My this is cool because the sticker is coming off of that angled multi grip bar that I bought off Facebook. So I can throw this, scratch that uh, peeling sticker off, and throw this on there. Uh, Oh no, this might go on the Forerunner. This does look like, oh, look at this piece. So, there are like two little bolts holding this on, or two little, oh no, they're like screws, that look like have come loose. Just tighten that up real quick. See that pulls that back on. This looks like its screw came off and fell out somewhere. I'm gonna have to find something to keep to to uh, attach that on there with. Check these. Yeah, this is like that UHMW plastic, like on the. Uh, 
uh, J cups, but this is like a rubber non-slick thing. Uh, the, the feet are on there really tight. That's nice because a lot of times these can slip off really easy. Seems like a really good snug fit. <laughs> tell you this bench is, this other bench looks like a baby bench compared to it so this is a wider pad a longer pad a grippier pad the construct it's better constructed it feels nicer the front base is larger I think I should do a separate video comparing the two but for now Let's just, uh, and it's heavier. Um, for now, let's just stand them up side by side and take a look. I'm gonna, I was gonna do something else today uh, on the rack, but now that I got this in, I think my plan has changed. Or now that I built this, I've had these for a couple of weeks. But you see, oh man, this is so nice. And it, I mean, it's not gonna fall over on its own. And even with me kind of bouncing it around, it stays up pretty nice. So let's just take a look. And it's it's resting on that mat, so it's not hurting the pad. The wheels aren't touching, so it's not sliding around. Whereas this one, if you look, it doesn't have anything up there, so what it's sitting on is the pad and the wheels. But just to give you guys a little sneak preview, um, yeah, because I, I already noticed several things. Um, the front post base is wider, and then also uh, the back footing is wider. So this bench is going to be more stable. And this one, if I bump it, it will, well, it didn't, but it will fall over. This one seems to be heavy enough to still rock back. Now, if they get going, they're going to fall, but all right, guys, that's it for today. Uh, I'm going to go lift on this bench real quick, and then another time I will do a more in-depth comparison. I thought this expert is a rep clone. I'm not sure, so I, I can't compare it to the rep, but I'll, I will compare it to this one. All right, guys. <laughs> I don't know if you can see my head through half the video. Keep training, and I'll see you in the next video.